Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. I was recently given this. What do you think it is? Is it a camera? No, indeed, it's a lighter. And I know a lot of us don't smoke anymore, but these were would have been all the rage for lighting your, your fancy cigarillo. Um, and it's insanely heavy. It's hard to describe how heavy it is. It's very bright, shiny and heavy. It's made by Rowenta and it says Electronique, Germany, patent pending. And I can see here it's uh, pretty much a volume control. So that's the flame size and then a standard gas refill. And it's got this weird cheeky fellow. So I'm not really sure what that's for. And then uh, on the front, it's got the button that's clearly the lighter. There's no ignition there, and I've, I haven't put any gas in it at the minute because uh, if you can't see the ignition, there's no point putting gas in. And then I sort of pull this little tang out, and there you go, you get the innards. And it's a very fascinating thing indeed. Fascinating for multiple reasons, and some of those reasons we'll cover today. Um, just on the surface, a uh, very standard uh, sort of gas, I say very standard gas chamber, it's not really standard is it? Because look at it, it looks like a bloody metal can, you don't really get them made of metal. But standard in that there's some gas in it and when you push the button here, um, although it did seem, oh there you go, <laughs> oh it's really weird, um, yeah okay I've figured out what's going on here. Um, when it's on the table, you see when you push the button it's actually lifting the valve, so that's why I wanted to show you that valve lifting. but. If, if it's off the table and this thing is stuck up, uh, well, stuck down rather, look here, when you push the gas, it keeps the, um, if I'm not mistaken, am I imagining it? Am I, is it keeping the pin up? Yes, it is. It's keeping the gas valve open so you can just light it and it looks like it will stay lit. So you hold it up to your cigarillo and you go, oh, there you go, puff away. And then you've got this little tube that goes to the nozzle and then the nozzle has two igniters and look how dainty they are. I mean they're actually proper copper igniters with a bit of, I don't know, that is steel or something in there. Um, that's very unusual. You'd see that inside your oil boiler or something like that but not in a, a lighter. Then you have a transformer there and then you have a juicy fat cap and I think that that's probably uh, pretty much all there is. I mean there seems to be potentially something in there. I mean, I don't know if there's an electronic item in there, but what I'd imagine you're doing when you're you're pushing the uh, button, you know, so that battery that's here is charging up this capacitor and it's basically just dumping it through the transistor. So, transistor, oh my gosh, transformer. So if you imagine for if it was a, a 10 to one, you know, you'd put in one volt and get 10 volts out. But I think in this case, you're putting in, I don't know, um, 20 volts and you're getting, 5,000 out or something like that. We won't be able to measure it. Now, um, the weird thing about this, I did have a look at it a little while back, is that when you put a battery in it, it doesn't seem to fit very well. I mean, it doesn't fit very well at all. And when you ignite it, oh, I always get jumpy when there's things doing sparks. Um, no spark there at all. And I wasn't getting any spark at all. So I hooked this up to the bench power supply and I think at 12 volts I was starting to get a thing. I was going, this is weird. So I went online and I did some digging and then I came across this cell and it's it's definitely uh, a battery, but check it out. It's not any battery you've seen before because for a start, well, both ends look like the end of a, a normal battery, which is weird. Um, and it's got that rib shape and it looks like a lot, like a hell of a lot of watch batteries end to end, end to end, end to end. And then when you put it on your uh, meter, and I'm going <laughs> to figure out how to hold this without the probe slipping off. So can you see the meter there? Keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on it. It's a very slippery fella this. It's a very odd battery to hold. Dag, damn it. Right, let's put it down on the bench. But you can see it's a 23 volt battery. And a positive is that end up. Uh, yeah, so it's 23 volts, so it's yeah, pretty much double what I thought it would be, right? A 12 volt. Um, so clearly, this is a very specialized battery and you can count in there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 regular cells in there. So very interesting. Makes me want to sort of go online and buy 
a load of watch batteries, like an ungoshly amount. You know, like um, those lithium batteries, like the 3v3 flat ones? Just pile them end to end, end to end, end to end, as many as you can, just to see what would happen if you get that many batteries. You can make your own, like, you know, 3000 volt battery. Um, and I, I was really um, curious, I was speaking to my father about this, about the current. You know, will it have enough current to kill you? Um, I guess it might. How long, how much current does it need and how long does it need to supply that current? Who knows? So that's the battery in there and that's why that battery holder is particularly shaped to, to handle those contacts. Um, strange it didn't, oh it does say on there actually there's a positive end and a negative end. It is printed on the label, in very fine print. Um, again, I'm kind of scared to click this off because again, should be okay. I'm going to try it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw that. There was a bit of a thing going on, I suppose. It wasn't like massive. I was expecting something really impressive, but considering all the effort to go into that, at least you can kind of pulse it to get a bit, of, you know, get it repeating. But yeah, considering all the effort of electronics, um, it just doesn't seem worth it, does it really? Let's just try see if that's enough. I mean, if it's not enough, there's not much we can do. Oh, it's happening. That's enough gas. We probably want to save some of that gas because we're not going to use a lighter much these days, but I will use a glue gun a lot more. So, if it's off the deck. Whoa! Shh. What the heck was that? <laughs> Now, not only did that flame come out massively thing, but I could have sworn it felt warm on the bottom. I was freaking out there. Let's turn that down before I bloody... Oh, it's leaking. That's why. I might have to re-watch that video. It was, is it leaking? Yeah, it's coming out the bottom. Maybe uh, it felt warm on the bottom because it actually ignited the bottom. definitely hissing and fussing away this might be a bit even too dangerous for me yeah it's still leaking maybe put more gas in it maybe it just needs to be a bit more lubricated nope now it's really pouring it out Hmm. I'm going to leave this for a bit and come back to it, I think. don't know if you can hear that, but it does seem to be leaking out of this adjustment valve. I guess, after all these years, the seals may have failed. Oh, hang on. I'm hearing it from the top now, here. Ah! <laughs> Did you see that? Okay, so there you go, the Rowenta electronic um, doohickey that I might have to just light and leave outside because it's far too dangerous. Um, it's very odd though that you light it and it kind of stays on, wasn't it? That, I don't know if that's normal behaviour. You saw it stay on then. That was the weirdest thing about this. It stayed on and is it supposed to explode when you lift it off i really don't know answers on a postcard please let me know here's my view of this you push the button and hold it and it lights you can see that right but if you push the button and then lift it up off your deck oh it was doing this momentarily you go oh no you can see it. it is actually still lit yeah so if you lift it up you can still see that it's actually lit, just about. Can you see that? If I flop it around. So I think the idea was, if you think of it as a kind of novelty, it's like literally you light it and then bring it up, offer it around, light your cigarillos with it. Can you see it lit? No, it is lit, trust me. It's gone out again. And then when you put it back down, it goes out. But that's really dangerous, because it means then, I don't know, does it mean if it tips, it just lights? In fact, we could test this. So if I hold it on its side, I 
Okay, so it's lit on its side, but if I push the button in, it disengages. But if I try to light it, ah. So if it just turns over casually, that's okay. You'd have to have activated it first. And then you put it down and it goes off. But will I trust this now? No. In fact, look at that one. It doesn't seem to want to light... I think it's just a gas issue, to be honest. Will it light if it's on the deck? It doesn't seem to want it, but then when I pick it up, it kind of does. Kind of? Probably just a gas issue. And I'm way too scared to put more gas in it, but let's have a look anyway. we will be able to see that from the mechanism, if it's doing that or not. So let's see. When you're pushing this in, you see that pin isn't doing anything, but... When you push this down and it's lit, it does hold that up. Am I seeing... F There's flames coming out of everywhere. Every orifice has got flames on this bloody thing. And then when you push it, it goes out. Thank gosh for that. I think that this rubber pipe's perish. That's what that is. But yeah, it's a nice little curio. I mean... If you know anybody who actually restores these things, it could be a good uh, little uh, project for them. But it does look bloody dangerous. I'd never even anticipated that lighters could um, you know, deteriorate with age, really. But I do suppose it's got standard materials. Um, it's hard to see, though, where that leak is. Let's see if we can spot it before it blows up in my face. Okay, so it does seem to just be leaking here out of this whole rubber stem. I mean, that's kind of worrying, isn't it? Just out of the general rubber of here, it's perished that much. And that's that, a curio from a bygone age that I've spent way too much money acquiring a battery for and seems that it's not something we want to run. Um, I'd have to be careful with it because we're actually burning the transformer wires, so I wouldn't advise anybody to use that. That battery could be fun, though, in the future, couldn't it? I'm going to leave this all intact. What I'm going to do is see if I can let the gas out of it, which is kind of dangerous. Don't do this at home, kids. Mm. Guessing there's not too much in there. I'm not getting much pressure. In fact, I could hear it. I could hear it like the, the thread hitting the stops then. And there you go, it's like some sort of wick material in there and that's your gas valve. So, who knew? Let me know down below if you collect these or if they're worth any value and I'll pop it on eBay or ship it to you or something. We'll work something out, just let me know. And maybe this Rowenta Electronic could be in your collection soon enough. As ever, thanks for watching.